Good morning, West Creek Stampers. Um, this is Kay. I'm coming to you from my basement on West Creek Road. And I just want to show you how to put together these April um, cards. I have a few other things to review with you, but basically I'm here to show you how to put together these cards if you got the kit. So the first one is using uh, Symbols of Fortune, DSP, and then um, this is Gray Granite Cardstock Gold Ribbon. This is from, and I've told you before, I always lose my mind when I'm on these videos. Um, that's from the Tasteful Label Dies. Um, that isn't exactly the right name, but anyhow, anytime that I do these cards, if you have any questions about what specific supplies I used, please let me know. I did send those PDFs out on, um, email. And if you didn't get them or you're not on my email, please let me know. Okay, so the first thing that we do always when we get our card kit is fold the base. And all of our cards today are a regular fold. So this is the gray granite. And you have two pieces of white. One goes on the front. One goes on the inside. They are both the same size. So no worries there. I'm, I'm going to show you the basics today how to put this together and I can go ahead and put this on for you this um, paper from symbols of fortune is so elegant and pretty so I I tape that to my one of my white card stocks the ribbon, what I like to do is use scotch tape to hold it in the back. Um, everybody has their own way of doing it. And you want to have that up about a third of the way uh, from the bottom of your card for when you put your label on. And then... This can go right on the front, and you can usually wiggle that a little bit if you feel like it might not be exactly straight. And then I didn't tie a bow. I just tied the other piece right around and just pulled one time kind of taut. And then I snipped that off to the length that I like. And my scissors seem to have disappeared I was uh, doing I thought I had everything ready and then if I go and do something else down here it moves on me so I like mine like about that length you can cut them straight off or at an angle so that goes right on the front and then inside your envelope you'll have a label and a butterfly now, I did gold embossing on this, so you always take your embossing buddy to get rid of any static that is on there. The stamp set that we're using is celebrating you. I made this one a happy birthday. Um, somebody in the class made it a sympathy card, and it was very pretty for a sympathy card also straight up and straight down with the um, Versamark ink. <clears throat> and then I put my gold embossing powder in a Tupperware container just to make it a little easier. This is one of the old sandwich containers and nobody here packs sandwiches anymore, very seldom. And then I will run the heat gun till that changes color or changes to like a shiny effect. That's when you know that it's ready. 
Okay, I'm not going to take the time or make the noise to do that right now, but that is how that stamps. I'm going to lay it back here to the side so don't mess it, up, mess it up, and then you can put your butterfly on there anywhere. So that is card number one. And remember I said Soft Suede is the ink that's going to give you most like this color to stamp something on the inside. Okay, card number two. I used Eden's Garden, and I did win this um, stamp set as an award um, with on um, being on Jody Breckbill's team. And so I want to show you how this card goes together. I love this gorgeous grape. I love the paper. And um, this, this uh, Eden's Garden stamp set and framelits are so pretty. So this card you can use for anything. There's a lot of different sayings that you can put on that tag that will fit. I take my gorgeous grape cardstock and fold it. And if you like a more precise fold there, you can score it to make that a little sharper. Okay, so I'm taking my, I have two pieces of white cardstock in your kit. The more narrow one goes on the front under this cardstock. I'm going to get that ribbon out of the way for now. You can use either side of your printed paper. The measurements and all the details are on the PDF that I sent you. So um, the, the one thing you need to know is your, you have a shorter and a longer piece of this white seam binding ribbon. You're going to take the longer one and make a bow with it. The shorter one just wraps around that sec section that you just put together. So you can fuss with your bow and make it however you want, however big, and then snip your ends off to your desired length. Okay, so then I take the shorter one and wrap around here. And again, I like to use the scotch tape to hold that down. I'm sure everybody is busy today getting ready for their Easter. I have some things to prepare here in a little while. But I'm going to run my neighbor to town first. Um, Katie needed a trip to town this morning, so we're going to do that here soon. Okay, so in your envelope, you will have your <clears throat> die cuts. I cut these out of the circle dies, and I have a scallop one cut out of the gorgeous grape. You're going to stamp your flower from Eden's Garden stamp set. And that is carrying over into the new catalog. So if you didn't get a chance to get it, you can still get it. I have, this is the first time I've actually used it for a class. And I'm really liking how this stamps. And the car, the um, stamping looks a little shaded. Um, so that makes it pretty special. And then I just stamped hello there on my white strip. Anytime you get a kit and you and something is missing, which can happen when I'm loading kits, please don't hesitate to let me know and I'll get that out to you. Okay, I think I actually used the back side of that white circle to stamp, but nobody will know that. Okay, so then I am going to pop this up and I'm not gonna waste your time showing you all the details, but then my ribbon will go there and I'll use a glue dot to hold it on 
this tag <clears throat> and I just cut this little strip. This is not on the framelits, but I just cut this little strip of white to fit in there so it would stand out and then that will get popped up. You may have a few little pieces of cardstock yet in your holes, so you just want to take one of your tools or a fingernail or the point of your scissors to get them out of there. And then I gave you some pearls to put on each end here. So, and then I did pop that tag up. For the inside, you have a white piece and you can stamp on that, use it for any occasion. I kind of like to keep these um, all occasion cards um, blank on the inside until I have a need. And then when I go through my cards, um, I pick one out based on who I'm giving it to. Okay, so here is another card that I made this month for card class. And this is using the Grassy Grove dies. I really don't think I used anything from the stamp set on this particular card. I used the dies, and then my uh, greeting that I used is from the Prize Peony, which I'm pretty sure this one is retiring. Um, I'm so sorry for your loss. It seems that we've needed a lot of sympathy cards and so forth here more recently. But this is using Blackberry Biss Bliss for the card base. And the ribbon that I used on here, not everyone who got a kit will have the same ribbon because I ran a little short on the first kind I used, but I tried to make that comparable. Now these two whites are the same. So one for the inside, one for the front again. And then you're going to take your die and again, you're going to punch out all the little pieces that might be left in there because I did not do that for you. I'm sorry to tell you. Your printed paper, you're all going to have a little different print there. Um, but this fits on your white. And you want to kind of center that so you make sure you get it under your die. So that goes together like that. You should have two pieces. Yes, you do. A longer one and a shorter one of the gold twine. You can wrap that either around just this section or around the white. And we're going to do the same thing we did with the other card, tape it on the back. And then you're going to take your shorter piece and tie it around there. And I just tied it one time. My The ribbon on mine is a little bit different also. I, I need to remember to keep pulling that down where you can see it. Okay, so then in your envelope, you should have two little branches and two deer. And the deer I did pop up with a dimensional, and you can place them wherever you've liked. They're probably going to go above that string, and then right here, and right here. The tag, then I stamped that in black, and I am... Not seeing my black ink, but you can see here. And then these two uh, pieces of greenery, and this is from the same die set. I put them just on back of that tag, just to give it a little more oomph. But I think that turned out to be a really pretty card. Okay, so 
those are the cards, the three cards that we did. Our next card class is going to be in May, May 10 and 12 at 10, 2, and 6. And let's see, I am going to do a paper share out of the new catalog. The new catalogs are here. Um, if you did not come into card class this, this week, um, I will have catalogs here. If you're in my area, please let me know. I'll get one to you. If you are a distance, I have asked Stampin' Up! to mail them to you. Um, I actually paid for them to mail them to you, so please let me know. If you're not sure if you're that on, on that list, give me a call and I'll let you know. Okay, our next Movilist event is coming up June 11th. And um, you can sign up now. Up until May 9th is the deadline for Early Bird. If you sign up by May 9th, you'll get an extra card. And that will be um, make you eight cards. The total deadline for registration is the 12th. So you have three more days after that to sign up. I um, am doing one of the cards for it. We're using Charming Sentiments. That's on page 38 in the catalog. That uh, stamp set also comes as a bundle. If you decide that you want to bundle that, um, we can give you that same price as far as the stamp set and dies. So the, the cost for the class is $48. That's a virtual class. You'll get everything to make your cards plus the stamp set. Um, plus there are door prizes. You get a $5 coupon. If you decide you want to add the dies, then it is an extra $35. But let me know that when you sign up, if you want to do that. I am doing an in-color club. Again, I did send out that information, but I got them this week, and I just want to show you how pretty these colors are. Parakeet Party, Starry Sky, Orchid Oasis. I did get the, the pens. We have Sweet Sorbet. There's five, always five colors. In the new in colors and then Tahitian Tide so here are the card stocks I'll tell you I did not think I was going to be liking them as much as I do but they are gorgeous I'm gonna raise this up a little bit and you're gonna see a little bit more of my mess on the table but here are the colors of cardstock that starry sky um, I thought in the catalog and pictures I saw that it looked closer to navy, but it is um, has more of a royal blue in it. Parakeet Party, Orchid Oasis is a beautiful, beautiful shade. And then Tahitian Tide. So if you want more information about any of those, please let me know. I'm also going to do a paper share. I have two of the packs of DSP. And I'll give you a little peek of what those um, papers look like. The first one I'm going to show you, this one is called Sun Prints. So this is the one side and then here are the backs and I have something sliding I don't want my cardstock to plop on the floor and damage the corner so I'm gonna grab that real quick okay so this is a little hard to do but I'm trying to show you the backs of these um, this Sun Prince is gorgeous and then this is the other one this is called Pretty Prints, and it is very pretty prints. And um, I believe that's all the in colors. You know, on the backs of these, on the labels, it gives you all the colors and um, the names of the colors. And when I do the paper share, 
you get a fourth of each pack, which is cut down to six by six. There are 12 packs of paper of the DSP printed, and then I make labels for all your packages that show you what colors are in that. So I am going to do a giveaway today. I have this stamp set that is retiring. It is called Sending Hugs. And I am going to, I'll say Monday, I will do a drawing from anybody who likes and comments on this video. So I will give that stamp set away to some lucky person. Okay, so um, our card class this week, we do a drawing every week for card class and Linda Morgan won that car, that um, prize. So she'll get to pick out of my card basket or she can pick a free class, a free regular class. Those free class tickets that I give out, um, those are regular for my those are for my regular monthly classes. If I do any special classes, those do not apply. Um, I am having a special folds class, but that will be in June, June 21st. That's a Tuesday. So I did send out an email that has all these dates in because I know when you hear them on here, it's hard to remember or get them written down. But have a lovely, lovely Easter and thank you for watching.